Good morning. Like, subscribe, bell, face. Let's get into the video. Good morning, everybody. Hi, how are things? It's Wednesday morning. It is 1037. I'm enjoying coffee and looking online for jobs. Um, so everybody wanted to know what was going on. I resigned from my job today, um, effective immediately. So a lot of thought went into it and a lot of nerves and anxiety and panic attacks. And I'm still not 100% there, but at least I don't feel like I'm going to vomit all the time. And everything, like all of it just hit the fan as soon as I got to New Jersey, it was very strange. I am home, I am looking for jobs. I have a part-time thing, which is nice. It is work from home, which is beautiful. I no longer have to wear a uniform, which is weird. I cried a little this morning. Um, you know, I feel like a big chapter of my life is closed and everybody's like, yeah, it's closed, but you're gonna move on to bigger and better. So here's a hoping. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Oh, before I do let you go, I did weigh in this morning. I don't remember what I weighed the week before I left for Jersey. I wanna say it was like 240.6. Does that sound right, 240.4? Um, when I left that Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, I was 239.6. Um, you know, I did not say 100% keto. I had a couple of cheat meals. Um, I had boozy cupcakes, hello. And I wound up losing like a pound. And then this morning I woke up and I was the same weight despite having Chinese food for dinner last night. So I'm not mad at it. I'm still in the 230s and I enjoy it. I did have to go shopping yesterday for an interview outfit um, because I don't own any nice clothes that are interview appropriate because I've worked at the same place for almost seven years. Everything I bought from Torrid was a size one, which is nice. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that. Yeah. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet, but I'm gonna go because I want to get this up and running and apply for some stuff. Wish me luck. All right, so I am sitting here starving. So salami, some cheese, some pickles, some salt and pepper pork rinds, water and job stuff. So do that and I will talk to you later. I got lollies. So lollies, peanut butter macadamia, gingerbread, my favorite pumpkin spice, some cinnamon pecan. If you don't know what these are, they're like little teeny tiny keto cookie clusters that are amazing in macros. Like, hello, one gram net carb. Hi, how are ya? I feel like Jeffree Star. Pumpkin spice, one gram. Gingerbread, one gram. And the peanut butter macadamia is two grams, but that's because it's peanut butter and peanut butter is life. <sighs> Save 10% by using the code in the description box below. Okay, hey, so I'm taking a break from doing the job searching to try, eh, I won't open. Oh. I got the Strawberry Chocolate Keto Connect bars. Um, they're a collaboration between Keto Connect and the Keto bars. Um, they're a little bit higher in carbs, they're five grams, but oh my God, I'm so excited. Yum, they're so cute with the little strawberry having a face. Oh, they smell really good. So they're good. They're not overly strawberry-ish. I'm definitely not mad at them. And they are sold out, which sucks for you. <laughs> Can I just explain to you how weird it is for me to not be at work right now? Super, super weird. Like... I don't know what I'm gonna do until I get like another full-time job. I just walked by, I was getting into my car actually at Publix because Dave told me to get out of the house. He's like, stop looking for a job. He's like, get out of the house, go do something. He's like, uh, go get a rotisserie chicken for dinner. I'm like, okay. Got some stuff at the grocery store. Was getting into my car and this woman walks by and goes, hey, it's the nice storage lady. I looked at her and went, not as of this morning. She's like, oh no. I'm like Gina's there now. She'll got she's got your back. She's good. You know. It sucks, man. I feel like seven years of my life is just gone. 
I got to move on to bigger and better things, right? Like I can only wallow for so long. <sighs> Even Dave, when he came in, I was sitting on the table. I wasn't sitting, I was sitting at the table in the dining room and I was on the laptop and he just like came in and he like stopped. I'm like, it's weird, isn't it? He's like, it's so weird. He's like, you're here, you're in like normal person clothing. You're on the laptop in the dining room. He's like, it's super not normal. I'm like, I know. I know. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. I'm not gonna give you guys the whole story because I mean like some of you know, but one, I don't want anybody to get any ideas on me versus the company I worked for versus, you know, all different things. It happened, it is what it is, it is over, it is done with. I'll probably wallow till the end of the week <laughs> and then, you know, hopefully, hopefully get some, uh, get some leads going. I have one for a storage company out in Sarah land, but I don't necessarily know if I want to stay in storage. I don't, I don't know what I want to do with my life. I feel like I'm a 17 year old kid again. I don't know what I want to do. I'd love for this to be like a full-time gig, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Anytime soon. But you guys can help by watching and ordering stuff through my links below if you guys want to be supportive. Ugh. Stinks. All right, so this is dinner. It is <laughs> rotisserie chicken and some salad with Colby Jack cheese and avocado and barbecue sauce and ranch and sunflower seeds and some seasoning and some yumminess. And, and my, my finger. finger. <laughs> um... I did have half of a sugar cookie, quality control. I had to make sure they were baked correctly. Um, and like two bites, I said, it's my butt, of my, uh, his cheesy rice. So I'm going to have this and then dessert. Who knows what it will be? And I will see you tomorrow. Not from my car because I don't go to work anymore.